Good day, everybody. Welcome back to our channel in Horticultural Trade Arts. For this day, we are going to make uh, a dish garden. Okay, what is a dish garden? A dish garden is actually a miniature landscaping. It's an art. So everybody is an artist. You're going to bring out the artistic ability of uh, everybody in uh, thinking of what miniature landscape you would like to predict. This gardening is growing single plant or a group of plant in a shallow this path. So you have uh, a picture already of what you would like to depict if you're going to have your this garden. So what are the materials that you will need? Of course, you need your plants. So for our this garden today, it's like a forested area. So uh, we'll have some plants that will uh, need higher humidity, some uh, succulents, like this, and uh, this one. So these are the plants we're going to have for our this garden. And uh, of course, we will need our mincha. The first thing that you're going to put here, of course, will be your um, gravel. Gravel, a thin layer only here for drainage. So, uh, assist in drainage. And then you need your small hand tools to assist you in planting. Small hand tools. You need your pruning shear in case you need to prune some parts of the plant you're going to grow. And you need your atomizer to water after. Now for our uh, landscape to predict, we need our sphagnum moss. So your finishing touch will be the sphagnum moss. This gardening is uh, very easy. We need a shallow this pot. Okay. And... Uh, you may also have the option of putting some artifacts and hackers after uh, making to complete your this garden. Then for our uh, this garden picture today, it will be uh, a forest landscape with a waterfall. So how do we do that? First, of course, we have to have our gravel first layer for our grenades just spread it thinly okay and then followed by our the soil for the growing media okay so while you are putting the growing media we can already put the mound and in positioning your plants make sure that you are turning your pot around so that all the different sides of your container will have a beautiful side. Okay, so we start with the bigger plants of center. Our bigger plants are this. I put it of center. How are you going to do it? So see. While you are putting it, you are also adding your media. Add some more of the media. And then you add some of your smaller plants already. Usually, the plants are grown tilted this way so that you also have a view there at the back and here in front. You have to spread the roots so that your plants will be firmly placed in the media. And you have the smaller plants here. in the side okay how do you see it 
Get some more of the media. See if the view here is also nice. At the back, you have to add some more of the soil. Fill up the spaces in between the plants. Okay. So, this is a true back. And this is the front. So it should be placed in all areas where there is a space in between the container and the plant. So because you would like to have a waterfall, then the land will be a little bit deeper. Okay. We can put a little group of plants on this side. in a forest okay or in area where there is a higher humidity then you will notice that uh, there is a mass planting that is how you should do it in uh, a landscaping idea so we are ready to put the finishing touch and then make the waterfall okay. our finishing touch we have our stack of moss Spread the spagnum moss so that it will cover the soil, the bare soil. Until all the bare soil is completely covered. So now, how do we make the waterfall? Right. Now we presume that this uh, plants at the back background are trees. Then, there's where the water will come out. So, we can have uh, some white stones to depict where the water will come from. Here. This side. Okay. We can arrange these stones okay this will uh, resemble the water that will flow from here so we'll arrange the stones we can have flat stones on this side okay. so we we'll make it flow this way from up it goes down okay. it's wider from the top portion and it tapers down here so we have a river flowing in our forest landscape probably the animal 
can be anywhere. The monkey here climbing near the tree. And then the rabbit on this side. Yeah. Or you can have other more brightly colored animals that you can have. Now remember that all your artifacts and decors that will be placed here should be those that will not be destroyed by water because you're going to water. Okay, so it can be plastic or rubberized. Okay. So the last one is to water with the use of an atomizer. side you can also add some more of uh, stone where the water is coming from so turn around and see whether you will appreciate all the sides Put your monkey out here. So we are done with uh, today's this garden. So we just water at least once a week with the use of your atomizer. And then put your plant near this garden garden in a partial shade area. And watch and enjoy your plant grow. So you have now your simple this garden. Now this is just giving you an idea of how you're going to make use of your plants and how you can trade them in the market. But you can mix other plants together that need similar environmental conditions like for instance same light requirement same water requirement so that they will grow um, along with each other okay okay so thank you for joining us today then we will have another this gardening idea uh, after a few days and it will be in a um, arid landscape where there's few rainfall and uh, a little vegetation. Thank you for joining us today.